All right, guys, so in our last video, we managed to restore our wing and got it looking nice and shiny. Look at that, look at that, shiny. Which held up pretty good. It's been about a week and a half, maybe. Still going strong, but today we got something different. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and try and install a wiper fluid reservoir with the little motor so we can actually get some uh, working um, washer fluid. You can see, uh, yeah, there's no lines in this at all, nothing. So I'm guessing the previous owner probably just lowered the car and had to get rid of the reservoir because from what I understand, it just goes right back here and uh, it probably didn't fit. So I don't actually have it with me. I haven't bought it. Uh, I don't know how much they cost online, but yeah, you know, I, I can't really wait. I'm pretty impatient. So I figure let's go take a trip down to the local junkyard and see if we can find this along with all the parts that we need. I always do like going to the junkyard. You never know what you can find there. And hopefully I'll be able to find some, some cool extra little goodies for the hatch. Hopefully I don't fuck it up. I mean, how hard can it be, right? It's just a, it's just a tank with a little motor, probably some lines. Uh, yeah, let's just get down to the junkyard and start pulling stuff, man. Actually, I had to remove this these AC lines and just drop that canister down and then the uh, thing just slip around hopefully it works hopefully that little motor works all right so I thought I was done with this one you know and then I came across this Civic with a brand newer one and it looks slightly different look you see it has these two prongs there whereas this one has them out here Aimed at this one, and this one's kind of in the middle. And I don't know which is which, or which one is for my hatchback, because this is from a sedan, and I pulled that one from a coupe. So now I am confused, but this one looks newer, so I think I want to take this one instead. Yeah, so this one was on the, the coupe, and this is on the sedan. I don't really know what the difference is, but this one looks newer, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Motors also look different. I took that one off because I thought I could put it here, but there's no slot. All right, so now that we're done, I'm gonna be roaming around these aisles and see what other kind of goodies I find. I'm still not done picking at this one. I might take a couple more parts just in case. They really should have places to wash your hands though. Not way up there in the front. Two hours later. All right, guys. So this is what we managed to get. I know I went a little overboard with the parts and it was quite messy. Uh, still got a bunch of gunk under my fingernails, but I managed to find some fender lining. Hopefully they fit. Um, yeah, with my current setup, I'm not too sure. It, with the new tires that I, uh, new wheels I plan on getting, hopefully they will fit. But I mean, they were pretty, they were pretty in pretty decent shape. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there was a little bit of a tear on this one, and I think on this one. No, this one, this one is not teared. Um, we have the. Uh, underside um, protection thing and I eventually ended up going with the stock OEM one from Honda just because I noticed eventually this thing right here where's it at right there so it was inspected in March 24th of 1994 and I thought that was so cool just because that one's a stock one I know the old the other one looked a lot newer but I figured if 
I wanted a new one, I could have just bought one online, but this is OEM. And uh, I did, I ended up getting these. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at this. So currently, this one still works, but that one over there, you could tell it's just hanging. That's not good. And also, I got these extra trims for my window. Yeah, it just flew off on the highway. So I thought might as well see if I can try to replace them. I don't know if I any of these clips still work actually, but hopefully we, we can get it to fit properly once once we do this other stuff first. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning this and hopefully using that solution finish that we used on our side skirts and our mud guards to get these looking nice and black and shiny again. Yeah, this is gonna be messy. All right, guys, here we are. Check it out. Brand new, pretty much. That solution finish really does do a great job at restoring uh, stuff like this. Kind of matches the bumper and the lip. Ooh, it's gonna come out nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry, and in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on installing the windshield, uh, what do you call this? Windshield washer fluid reservoir. Man, it's this, this tank, I'm gonna install the tank. I'm gonna install it in there. So I gotta jack out the car, take off the wheel, and put this thing on jack stands, and hopefully it should be done in about 20, 30 minutes maybe. That's being optimistic, something, something always goes wrong. I don't know why, but it does. All right, here we are, nice and secure, no wobble. It's tightened up. Uh, I haven't installed the motor yet or the lines quite yet. I just wanted to see if this fit properly um, and check it out. It does. So this is ground level, nothing interfering. It's not even, it's nowhere near it. I don't understand why they took it off. Uh, maybe they're just scared of hitting it with a pothole or something. All right, now that the tank is fastened and secured, we're gonna go ahead and install the motor and we're gonna start by splicing those wires. Look, there it is, it's installed. I, uh, I cut off a piece of that little rubber guard thing from, from the old one, uh, right there. And I just covered it up just to make it look, you know, professional. All right, so now that we managed to get our reservoir in place, nice and sturdy. Man, I just like how this, this stick is. Look, it lets you know the, the gauge. This is off of EK hatch, no, EK coupe. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's not stock, but it looks cool. So I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm going to do with these just yet. I mean, I could just buy some clips. There's plenty of uh, spots to hook up to, but for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and install the fender lining because it's been long enough and I think they're dry. Yeah, so I just want to put these back on because uh, I think it will help with the loud noise. It's, it's pretty loud inside sometimes. And you know, with all the rocks being kicked up and hitting metal, it's, it's a lot louder on the, when, the, when the rocks hit the metal portion than it is if they'd hit the liner here. They look brand new, basically, honestly. They weren't that expensive, and hopefully they fit. I got these off of a EJ Coupe. I don't know if they'll fit the hatchback, but we're gonna find out. So now that we see that it works, uh, I think I should probably uh, fix those. I don't know what's wrong with them. They just, they're just loose. I don't really know how to fix that. 
Maybe they just don't belong on this car. Maybe they're the wrong ones. I don't know. Um, also, the war the the hose looks terrible. It looks crappy. I need to get something to uh, you know make it more aesthetically pleasing. This thing didn't work out. It was supposed to go there, but look, big old big old hole. It's not gonna fit there. So uh, I can figure out how to fix that some other time. We got the windshield wiper fluid, splash shield, bender linings. Yeah, I managed to replace this as well. We don't want to get any water in there. That's why the splash shield was also installed. Hopefully that doesn't melt off because of the headers. Keep in mind, they're not for a hatch. These are for a sedan, but I may do. So now that we've got the washer fluid installed, the hoses need to be realigned, make them look nicer. Look, you can see they're just dangling. Looks ugly. Oh, that's right. I didn't actually get to the trim on the windshield. Damn, look, these these things are just terrible. They just shot off straight over the roof. Um, right, uh, the trim. I'm holding off on this until I get the proper clips because I don't think they're they're old or anything. I just I didn't I couldn't find this one and I wanted to get oh leave that there. I wanted to do the whole thing as well as the side ones. So once I get the clips ordered and I get the paint to actually paint them and make them look nice and shiny. I think that'll be the end of the trim for the hatch. Every piece of trim that we could add on or that I wanted to add on has been installed. And if I do say so myself, it just looks clean. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, take care and good speed.